When forests disappear, the rain stops and the land dies with it. Most people think deforestation is mainly about carbon, but the real impact is more urgent. It destroys rainfall systems. Forests are engines of moisture. They pull humid air inland using the biotic pump. And when trees vanish, this system breaks. Air dries out, rivers shrink, droughts get longer and hotter. We've already seen this in parts of the Amazon, Congo and West Africa, where once fertile land turns to dust. So it's not just about saving trees, it's about saving rainfall. And I was in the Amazon not too long ago, and I saw it with my own eyes what's happening. Right now, 20% of the Amazon is already cut down approximately, but if you reach 25%, the vicious circle will turn so high that the Amazon will collapse. What happens? You have the Amazon River, the biggest river in the world, but you also have an atmospheric river, a river that follows the opposite direction of the Amazon in the air. It's called an atmospheric river, or I like to call it a flying river. And what happens, this flying river is generated by the trees like you already know now. But if you have less trees creating rain, the atmospheric river, the flying river will slow down, it will rain less, then the trees, of course, they will suffer and suffering trees will create less rain. So less atmospheric river and you'll have this vicious circle. So in order to save the Amazon, we need to plant trees again. But the problem is a lot of it is farmland and we can't plant forest on farmland. So we do can plant agroforestry and these agroforestry trees have the same effect. So I would like you to speak differently about deforestation because it's not uh, just a climate problem, it's a water emergency. Support forest defenders, pressure companies and share the science because no forest, no rain, no climate you want to live in.